ES Audio. Hi, I'm Rochelle Travers, and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, astronauts living off urine and sweat. Well, kind of. Now, let's get into it. An asteroid bigger than the London Eye is heading towards Earth. But don't worry, it will fly past us. Although it's classified by astronomers as potentially hazardous because it will come within 7.5 million kilometres of our planet, it poses no threat to life on Earth. According to NASA's Centre for Near-Earth Object Studies, the huge space rock named 2013 WV44 will make its closest approach to Earth at around 9am tomorrow, on Wednesday the 28th of June, when it will be around 3.3 million kilometres away. The asteroid is about 160 metres in diameter and will be travelling at a speed of 11.8 kilometres per second, which is roughly 34 times the speed of sound. Scientists have identified what's thought to be the oldest evidence hinting at cannibalism in a close relative species of humans. The study published in the journal Scientific Reports assessed nine cut marks on a 1.45 million year old left shin bone from a relative of modern humans which was found in northern Kenya. Researchers including those from the Smithsonian's National Museum of Natural History in the US say the cut marks seem to have been caused by stone tools. The team said that although the marks don't prove that the intention of the attacker was to make a meal, that's the most likely scenario. NASA has revealed that 98% of water used by the crew on the International Space Station is from recycled sweat and urine. Humans need water to survive. Each astronaut requires about a gallon of water per day. But sending supplies of water to space is difficult and expensive. Resupply will become impossible as humans travel deeper into space. Clip courtesy of NASA there. Yes, I know, it might all sound a bit gross, but there are a number of stages the water goes through before it's used by any human. It's treated through various methods, including distillation, dehumidification, and filtration. The achievement of 98% water recovery is seen as a huge breakthrough, as it means that astronauts on long-duration missions will now be able to recycle most of the water they use. People caught sharing or creating explicit images without consent could now face prison time in England and Wales. New amendments to the online safety bill will introduce a six-month prison term for sharing deepfake and revenge porn. This would increase to two years if there is intent to cause distress, alarm or humiliation, or to obtain sexual gratification that can be proved. Those who share an image for sexual gratification could also be placed on the sex offenders register. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has helped find a key life-building block carbon molecule in space for the first time. The methyl cation was detected in a young star system with a gas disk around it located about 1,350 light-years away, in the Orion Nebula. Carbon compounds are the foundation of all known life forms, and biologists looking for signs of alien life are trying to detect such molecules in other parts of the universe. Scientists say the Webb Telescope's exceptional resolution and sensitivity make it ideal to search for carbon-based molecules in the cosmos. Next. Turns out that it's not just humans that use baby talk to speak to their kids. Dolphin mums are also fans. A study published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences has found that female bottlenose dolphins change their tone when addressing their calves. Researchers recorded the signature whistles of 19 mother dolphins in Florida, when accompanied by their young offspring and when swimming alone or with other adults. The dolphin signature whistle is a unique and important signal which is the equivalent to calling out their own name. When directing the signal to their calves, the mother's whistle pitch is higher and her pitch range is greater than usual. Let's go to the ads. Coming up, Meta's new VR subscription service and an Australian dragon comes back from the dead. Why not hit rate and follow in the meantime? Welcome back. Facebook's parent company Meta has launched a virtual reality subscription service in the US. The Meta Quest Plus service will give users access to two new games per month at a cost of $7.99 a month or $59.99 for an annual subscription. It's compatible with its Quest 2, Quest Pro and upcoming Quest 3 headsets. It's the latest move from the tech giant to make this part of its business more profitable. For the first three months of the year, they saw a $4 billion loss at its VR unit. 
Researchers found that the megalodon's body temperature was around 7 degrees Celsius warmer than surrounding water. Based on analysis of tooth enamel from the ancient shark, the findings might help explain why it went extinct 3.6 million years ago. The temperature difference is greater than those determined for other sharks that lived alongside the species, and is large enough to categorize the megalodons as warm-blooded. According to the study from UCLA in the US, the amount of energy they used to stay warm contributed to its extinction. The findings are published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences Journal. And finally, an Australian dragon has essentially come back from the dead. The Victorian grassland earless dragon is only 15 centimetres nose to tail when fully grown, and until now had not been seen since 1969. It was once common across the native grasslands west of Melbourne, but the miniature lizards were driven to the brink of extinction by habitat destruction and being preyed on by other animals. However, a new population has been discovered, but where it is exactly is being kept secret for the reptile safety. The Victorian state government, Australian federal government and Zoos Victoria have all pledged to work together to ensure the species recovery. You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for the Leader podcast from the Evening Standard. We'll be back tomorrow at 1pm. See you then.